Hey YouTubers, we're going to take you on a special fishing trip today. I'm with my good golfing buddy and fishing buddy and hunting buddy, <laughs> Gary Boris. And Gary is going to take us fishing on the golf course. On the golf course. He's a pro golfer. As long as his dad, I know you've heard of Julius Boris. Well, Gary is a pro golfer as well. He played the tour for a couple years and now he's you've been a pro here in the Naples area? In the Naples area for, area for a few years. Now the beautiful thing about Gary, he says, rolling all the golf courses, whether there are 30 or 40 golf courses here in town, they all have ponds, they all have bass, and we're going to try a couple of them. We're going to try a couple of them, hope a few snook too. Oh boy, that's it going. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Tying on, Gary. Yeah, I'm a tie leader. You know, a little line to line. Now, he, what's so interesting in what, what Gary's doing now, He's tying a heavy-duty leader on because not only are there nice bass, there's beautiful bass at this pond, they're snook. I mean, nice big saltwater trophy snook. Some of them are 30, 35 inches long, really nice ones. What's the biggest snook you've caught? About 34 inches out here. Wow, that's a big, a... giant snook. It's all catch and release. We're not going to keep anything. And, and uh, what other, how's, what's, your big, what's your biggest bass? About nine pounds. Nine pound bass in a golf course. Now, you know, Gary, you were saying you probably fished and actually been to about a, what, a thousand different golf courses all over my lifetime. <laughs> all over the world, all over the country, probably a lot of different nations as well. Mm. But I mean, almost, well, they all have water courses, you know, all water hazards. So every one of them have, but you can't. Is, is it hard to get permission to go fishing? Is yet what do you have to do? Yeah, some courses are tough to get permission. Yeah. Uh, most of the time they're pretty considerate because there's areas that are out of the yeah. way that you can get to the golf course. Uh, you know, stay but, out of the way. But of the I golfers. guess if you told the manager uh, or the golf pro that he could go in early in the morning before anybody shows and, up, or exactly, late or something exactly. like that, but maybe stay out of everybody's afternoon. way and stuff like that. That's yeah. why we're out here a little okay. bit later in the <laughs> afternoon to stay out of the <laughs> golfer's right. way. We're kind of waiting for the golfers to kind of. Thin out a little bit, and uh, then we're gonna make our move. All right, we're gonna sneak right through the bushes right here. Oh man, we're gonna sneak through the bushes. Okay, son, this is the deal. What do you What do you think we wanna throw? I'm gonna throw a swim bait. What are you? Uh, it's, I like throwing a swim bait. I use okay. it for two reasons. I can keep up with the golfers in front of me when okay. I'm playing. I yeah, don't yeah. fall behind. Okay. And second of all, the snook and the bass will eat it just as well. What about a rattle trap you were talking that's about? What I, that's what I'm going to put on there. Okay. Okay. I got I got some got some rattle traps. Good, cool deal. Well, I'm going to just put this thing out here. We're going to fish right off the bank here? Yep. Right off the bank. <laughs> i tell you what, though, a lot of them golfers fish. It's pretty good fishing at some of these golf I courses. know, I know they are. Yeah. The biggest fish I've caught have been on a golf course. Matter of fact, the biggest bass I did catch was on a golf course. Well, you know, Gary There's just... Oh, he's got, he's got one, 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 he's got one. He's got one. Right hey, there. way to go, son. Oh, got a snook. Yes, sir. Look at that. Way to go. Hey, way to go, Gary. Way to go, son. A little one, not a very big one. Yeah, but it's a good deal. It's a good, healthy one. I yeah. know, it's a nice one. Nice one. Okay. How many pounds test line is that? Uh, that's 12 and hopefully it holds up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's a nice fat snook, isn't it? Look at that thing. Get the rattle trap. That's cool. Let me get my pliers. Okay. He told me, he said, roll and bring some gold rattle traps. <laughs> <laughs> that's the deal. Hey, where'd he go? Okay, there we go. Okay. We'll go ahead and release him. Okay, there he goes. Well, he's I'll do Okay, okay, Gary. I'm gonna try this rattle trap real quick. What do you think? Is it a rattle trap or just gonna go Give it something a shot, else? Give see if uh, something hit it. Oh, there's one. I got one. Yes, sir. Oh, you know what it is? Oh, that big 
Big Snook yeah, coming up. Big Snook, Snook was trying to get it. Trying to get it. That big Snook right there. Oh, look at that Snook. He got it. He got it. He got it. Oh, big giant snook. Look at that. It's about a 20 pound snook. Got the cichlid I had. Got my rattle trap. Got everything. He's just huge. He was like a 20 pound fish. I'm going to see if I won't hit this, this swim bait. It was a gigantic snook. Oh, heavens. Was that ever bad? That was big time bad. Stirred up the lake half the lake. Oh, man. That was a giant snook. It was like 35 inches, 40 inches long. Weighed about 10 or 15 pounds, took the big cichlid, ate my every ate everything up. Just terrible. <laughs> that Golly, was, that was a good size snook. Man. That was a big snook. That was that was way over 35 yeah. inches. Way big. You ate that cichlid, it was about a pound and a half. I know. Good heavens, what a big, big monster, monster, monster fish. Big one? He's got a big one. Like he's got a big one on. Okay, Gary. Gary's got a big one. No, oh, he's got a big one on. What you got, Gary? Yeah, a little better snook. Big snook, huh? Nice, Ooh, son. Nice as big as that one that ate that cichlid. That's a pretty good one you got. That's a big one. Look at the size of him. Oh, son, that's a big, big snook. Hey, hey, Bob, I have a tape measure. We'll measure him. Okay. So uh, I'll get I'll get the tape measure out. You're, well, already, you're already thinking I've got them in. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good one, Gary. Gary's got a big snook on. Look at this thing. Look at the size of this thing. That's a big one. Good size. You can look at that. Look at look at that. That's the biggest. That's a way big keeper. You know. Look at the size of him. Another big one over there. He's trying to throw that, throw a, that plug. That trying to throw that plug. Cichlid. Okay, that's a good one there, Gary. Almost 32. What do they have to be? Uh, 28 to 32. So it's almost 32. That's about a 10. It's 31 and a half. That's really, really a good start. We'll have to get that hook out. So we get, you got a pair of pliers? Yeah. There you go. Good that's job there. Gonna, I'm going to go ahead and, you want me to release them? Yeah, Gary? we'll release them. There he goes. He swung away. Perfect. He swung away, Gary. There hey, way go. to go. All right. Hey, man. There. That's a good yep. deal. That's a good oh, deal. Thank you. That's a good deal. Ooh. Yeah, I'll push that over here. There's a little culvert over here. A little culvert right here? So what? Look, where is it? Oh, I got a big snook on. Big snook. Big snook. Big snook. Got a big snook on. I got a big snook on. I got a big snook on. I got a big snook. Yes, sir. Big snook on. Yes, sir. I got a big one. <laughs> yeah, I got some more bait for you. Yeah, I got bait. <laughs> Got a big snook on a big, a big giant one. Look at that. Oh, it's a good snook. That's a big snook. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good one. Good one. That's a nice one. Okay. Right, there's a nice one here. That's a good snook. That's a real nice That's a good snook. Probably a 30. It's a keeper snook. Keeper snook. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna let this one go. Nice one. You wanna measure that one or? no, yeah. but he's a he's a keeper. He's definitely a keeper. He's definitely a keeper. Okay, boys. That's the way to go, son. Big old snook. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big old giant snook. Yes. Cool. Cool. Let's hit a worm, huh?
Eric's got another Promise snipe. Promise him a bat. Got a good one. Gary's got a good snook. Yes, sir. Well, now, what pounds this line is that, Gary? It's 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Bit easy. But you but got you got a, a nice leader on there, right? Saw, yeah, I tied on that 25 pound. Floral. 25 pound full carbon. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a nice big bass. Nice big snook. Cool, cool. Woo! You catch them on, on the rattle traps in here? Yeah, that rattle trap. Oh boy. Nice snook, nice snook. That's another keeper. Another keeper. Another keeper snook. Yeah, boy. Rattle trap time. I'm so glad that it's a catch and release deal. That makes it, that makes it really worthwhile. Okay. There he goes. Okay, here he goes. Good way to go, son. Way to go. This is my bass line. This is your bass. <laughs> Nice bass. Look at that guy. Yes, sir. There you go. Nice bass. See, there are bass in okay, here. Okay, there are some bass in here. Yes, sir, son. Yes, sir. Nice little bass. Snook. Don't catch and release. I'm going to have to get another, another lure and try that again. That's the second bass I've had on. I might mention to the camera how I met Gary. We were doing what was a heart ball. It was a heart thing. Of, of, of was a, uh, you, you bid on a you and your buddies bid on a fishing trip. It was the uh, club managers. It was a charity okay. charity event for uh, the kids. Yeah, uh, I can't remember which charity it was, but anyway, we, we, <laughs> they, they auctioned off a day of fishing with Roland. Okay, uh, with a friend that uh, donated the boat for yeah. the day. That was old George McLaughlin. Yeah, my dear buddy George. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, we caught a bunch of grouper that day. We did catch some grouper. And then I'll tell you what, what Gary started doing. He started talking about all these tuna fish and all these really cool fish over in the Bahamas and stuff. And then, then he started talking about, about the bass the bass in the golf cart. Then he took me turkey hunting. That was the other day. Yeah. We had some really good days. So I appreciate, uh, appreciate all this. But we're not finished yet. No, we're not done yet. In fact, so many golfers, I, I, can, I can name... 20, I, I, Azinger. Azinger. They feel Azinger and all, all sorts of guys. I've fished with the, so many of the good golfers that it's it's really amazing. I think it's a stress relief for them. To get you know, it, well, it, and plus almost every golf course, in fact, every golf course has water hazards. Every, every golf course probably has some fish to fish from Connecticut to California. So there's an opportunity to fish. You know, and, and, and you guys, the pros, you're on the golf course every day. Yeah. So you can get out there an hour early and fish a while or an hour late yeah. after everything closes up. So there's a lot of opportunity. Yeah, there's opportunity. Yeah, that's something else. They, uh, yeah, there's quite a few of them. Sam used to catch quite a few big bass at Disney World. Did he? He was, wasn't, you know, he was proud enough he'd drive over and uh, there's some fish. fish. You got one? Oh, oh he had nice a big bass. old bass. <laughs> he had a big old bass on, son. Great big bass. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> there he goes. He was right in those reeds. He was up in there. There you go, that's a little better one.
Long and lean. Hey, but a nice little fish. He was right up in the weeds. He was. He was right in there. You know, I, I made a kind of a bad cast and the line was all over top of those reeds right there. <laughs> he bit it. Coming through there, so they're hiding in that stuff. You know, folks, what happened back at the last hole? I, t I jumped out of the cart, golf cart and started throwing my rod. And I looked around. I didn't see Gary. He's hitting his golf ball. He's got his golf clubs <laughs> out. He's hitting. He's hitting balls all over the place. Yeah, I got to practice everything. a little bit while I'm out here. <laughs> Nice bass. Yeah, Gary, I got a good one. <laughs> okay, got a nice bass in here, son. Big snook, big bass, a little bit of everything. Wow. Oh, you got a bass? Oh, we got a big snook. Gary's got a big snook. Hey, we might close this thing out right here. This is really nice. Boy, Gary, we have really caught some nice fish today. You got a big snook. I had a nice bass just a second ago. Right oh, in the same you, spot. You're really showing me some really good fishing, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> it's really something else. So I'll tell you what, folks. There's so much opportunities, particularly in these, in these golf course lakes like we have here today. And, Gary, you've really shown us a thing or two about here in Naples because all these golf courses down here have a look at that thing he's in a net, yeah, he got a net one he's in the net there. you want me to hold the rod yeah i'll take the hook out okay I'll... yeah uh -oh. he's yeah. holding a net in a, in a landscape net hold that okay oh i tell you what gary another fine trophy fish whoa son <laughs> how many big we caught all kind of big snook we caught big bass We've done everything. We've done a little bit of everything. Hey, hey thanks for my old hunting and fishing buddy, Gary Burroughs, professional golfer. Hey, thanks for the trip here anytime, to the golf anytime. course. Anytime, Thank I enjoyed you. it. Son, hey, what do you think, YouTubers? Time. This is some kind of a fishing deal. Hey, golf courses are where it's at.